Welcome to the Food Flamingo. In today's video, we're going to be making this delicious white chocolate almond raspberry cake. These three flavors go so well together and this cake can easily impress anyone. This cake is made up of three main components, the almond cake, the raspberry compote filling, and the whipped white chocolate ganache frosting. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make our almond cake. For that, in a large bowl, sift together your flour, cornstarch, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Give this a mix and set it aside. Now on to the white ingredients. In a large bowl, we're going to beat together the butter, oil, and sugar. The butter should be soft and at room temperature, this makes it easy to beat up with the sugar and oil. Beat using a hand mixer or a stand mixer for 2-3 to three minutes until the mixture is pale and creamy like this. Now we're going to add in 3 eggs one at a time, mixing well between each addition. And it's best to have the eggs at room temperature as well. In baking, it's really important that the ingredients are at room temperature. This ensures that the cake bakes evenly. Now add in almond extract, vinegar, and half of the buttermilk. Mix this well and put the beater away because the rest of the batter is going to be mixed by hand. We're going to add in half of the dry mixture we made earlier and fold it in. Add in the rest of the buttermilk and fold that in as well. Lastly, we're going to add in the remaining dry mixture and fold it in. This will take some time so be patient and keep mixing. I'm baking this cake in a lined sheet pan because it's very convenient and many people including myself don't have many pans of the same size. But if you do, you can definitely make this in 3 6 inch pans or 2 8 inch pans as well. We're going to bake this for 25 to 30 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius. Here I am cutting out my circles. Each circle is 6 inches and I got about 4 layers. Now let's make the raspberry compote filling. For that, in a small saucepan, combine together the raspberries, fresh or frozen, sugar and lemon juice. Cook this on medium high for 2-3 to three minutes while crushing the berries like so. Add in the cornstarch and mix thoroughly so that you don't have any lumps of cornstarch in your filling. Cook for another 2-3 to three minutes. Now we're going to strain this so that we have a smooth filling. Make sure to refrigerate this until it's completely cool before using on the cakes. For the frosting, melt together the white chocolate and heavy cream on a double boiler or in the microwave in 30 second bursts. Once that's done, we're going to cover this with a plastic wrap making sure it's touching the surface of the ganache and refrigerate for at least 5 hours or preferably overnight. Once chilled, we're going to beat this to stiff peaks, which takes about 5 minutes. And that's it. Our frosting is done. Now it's time to assemble the cake. This might be a little bit intimidating, but trust me, you can do it. Place your first cake layer onto your stand and add some frosting on top. Don't add too much or too little. Spread this and add some raspberry filling on top. Make sure not to add too much as it can ooze out of the cake when we're frosting it later. Now repeat this process with all of your layers, and once you get to the top layer, it's time to crumb coat. This coat doesn't have to be perfect at all and you don't need to use that much cream either. It's just to help hold in all the crumbs so that our final coat can be nice and smooth. Now for this coat, you have to be a little generous with the frosting and once you've added how much frosting you want, you can smooth it out using a metal scraper and this doesn't have to be perfect as we're going to cover it with almonds anyways. I wanted this cake to have a little messy look so I did not scrape the icing off the sides and I also did this little swirl on the top. Of course, you can decorate this cake however you like. I'm just adding the almonds to the sides and I used some chocolate on top. Here it is, the final product. If you like this video, make sure to like it and comment down below what your favorite cake flavor is. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Food Flamingo and thanks for watching.